Pressure appears to be mounting further on Finance Minister Slavko Linic after the daily paper Juta Milist ran a story claiming that Linic was responsible for a questionable tax write-off which cost the state anywhere from 6 million to 27 million kuna. The paper has published four documents with Linic's signature to back up the claims. Jutta Nilis says an internal investigation is underway that might involve state prosecutors. According to the documents, Linich wrote off a 33 million kuna debt for the wood manufacturing plant Spachva in Vinkovci in exchange for a property that was allegedly worth only about one-fifth of that amount. President Ivo Josipovic has launched his initiative to revise Croatia's constitution. A team of legal experts and politicians picked by the president met for the first time today to discuss the troublesome provisions of the document and how to improve them. The focus of the group's work will be on the organization of lower levels of government on the county, city and district levels. Prosecutors have given up on calling Martin Spege, Croatia's defense minister in the early 1990s, to testify at the war crimes trial of Tomislav Merčep after he failed to appear in court today due to illness. Prosecutors plan to call another witness, General Karl Gorinšek, instead. Merčep is accused of being responsible for the torture and killing of ethnic Serbs near Pakrac in 1991. Slovenia's Prime Minister Alenka Bratusek has resigned after losing the leadership of her positive Slovenia party to Ljubljana Mayor Zoran Janković. Slovenian lawmakers have 30 days to choose someone else to form a government or call snap elections. Bratusek has said parliamentary elections in June would be the best way out of the political crisis. The Istrian city of Pula has a new attraction which is sure to draw attention from visitors. The 100-meter-high cranes of the Ulyanik shipyard have been illuminated by reflectors that can produce colored lights in more than 16,000 shades. The installation is called Lighting Giants and is the work of lighting designer Dan Skira. In sports, Croatia's Anna Zaninovic won the gold at the European Taekwondo Championships on Sunday in the up to 53 kilogram category after defeating Russia's Ekaterina Kim. Croatian contenders came out of the championships with six medals, three golds, two silvers and one bronze. This afternoon's forecast calls for mostly sunny skies. There may be some moderate clouds in the east of the country. High northeasterly winds on the coast will gradually fall and turn to a northwesterly direction. High winds are still possible on the central and southern sections of the coast. Afternoon highs will range from 13 to 18 degrees Celsius in the interior and from 18 to 23 on the Adriatic and in interior Dalmatia.